Hey guys, how's it going today? So today I'm going to go over how to repair a balance lead on your battery. Now I've seen a bunch of questions about this online, uh, occasionally here and there, so I figured I'd make a quick video and explain the tools you need and uh, the supplies you need to get the job done effectively. <clears throat> so obviously here you can see that this has a damaged balance lead on this pack. Uh, I messed up a little bit and forgot to tuck it in, so hence how this happened. So I figured, why not, let's make the video. Now, what I wanted to cover with you is the things that you're going to need. So you're going to need a crimper. You're going to need your 4S uh, balance plug. And uh, you're also going to need pins. So, and uh, you're going to need clippers, of course. And then... It's very helpful, but you should already have it, is to have a meter. So what I'm going to show you is the proper uh, pins that they should be in. And you can check this by uh, taking a good battery and testing that. So on a China Hobby Line pack, it's kind of weird, but the red is going to be effectively your negative and then the black wires are going to be your positive so what you can do is you can stick your meter in here and this is with this uh, I don't know if you can see it here this is with these with this uh, idiot proof connector with these top parts facing down so you'll see the pins so you come in here and you put your probe on one and you put it on the other so now what we should have is we have 4.22 this is a fully charged pack then we go to the next one and we'll have 8.45 then we'll go to the next one and we'll have 12.68 and we'll go to the next one and it'll be 16.9 so when you put it back together you want to see that now in this pack we don't really have that much to fix so this is kind of like an ideal situation so what I would do here anyway is uh, and this clip might actually be serviceable I think that it actually is so this would be a very easy repair but for this for the purpose of this tutorial I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna cut all these so we can shorten the lead a little bit uh, and again it's just for the tutorial so when you cut these do not under any circumstances cut all these at once because what will happen is you'll get a nice spark and uh, you're going to end up messing up your tool. Worst case scenario, I suppose the battery could explode, but I doubt it. You know, you get your tool out of there in time, but don't cut all of them at once. Same thing goes with if you're ever going to uh, recover your uh, XT60 plug off of batteries. It's, uh, some people do that. I don't bother with it. i got plenty of wire, but you can end up using this wire if you have a damaged pack. You can save that for something else. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off, and you want to do these one at a time. I'm going to take my strippers here, and I'm going to strip back. I got to clean that out. I'm going to strip back a little bit of wire here. You don't want to have too much. You just want to have about that much. So I don't know if you can see on the camera here, but you want to just have a little bit stripped. Then you'll take your your uh, your pin. You get a pin here. And when you load this into this tool, again, I don't know if you'll see it, but there's an area here that's slightly deeper than the other part. You want to take that and you want to slip this with these prongs down. You want to slip that inside of the tool there. And then you slowly close it. And you get it just to right about there, the first click. Then you want to take your wire and you'll insert that in the tool. You want to get that all the way down in there and then you crimp. So now when we pull this out we got a brand new connector crimped up ready to go. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to cut the uh, the tape here. I'm going to do all the rest of these then we'll go back through and we'll cover assembling into the plug and then we'll test it with our uh, with our battery checker here and we'll make sure that everything's good to go. See you back once I get the rest of these crimped. 
I got all my crimps done here with my connectors on there, uh, or all my pins, I should say. So now we're going to move on to the next step, and we're going to put this inside of there. But we got it first off. We got to test this. So we're going to come back to the meter. Let me move this where you guys can see this. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to come back with the meter. And remember, at least on this brand of pack, China Hobby line, our red is going to be our negative, which is kind of in reverse. But as you can see, so now we have 11.44. That We don't want to put that one in the first position, or the second position, I should say. That's 3.8. So that's the one that we want to have in there first. So we'll come over here, and we'll reference our good pack. And again, we can see that over here on the left side with the raised portion, that's where the red one's going to go. And then this guy here is going to go in the next spot because we read 3.8. So now it's important, make sure you don't get those to touch because if they touch, then you're going to be in trouble. And this part here that sticks up, that grabs onto it, that is going to go into this portion here where you see the hole. That's where that's going to go. So we'll take that one. Again, we're all the way to the left here. We'll put that down, and then we'll slide that in there. Now that should click in. You'll pull it, and you'll feel where it won't come out. So this is the next one that we had. And we want to stick that one in next. Oops. All right, so now what we're going to check here, we're going to come back with our meter, and we're going to test to see which one is next. And is it going to be this? Oh wait, we've got to get the meter. Sorry, knock that out of frame there. Let's get that back in frame. There we go. So now we're going to test which one is next. And our next one, let's see if you can see that, yeah. So that one was coming up at like 7 volts, I think it was. Oops. It's hard to get this in there. Uh, that's why I'm having a little issues. Our next one here is at 7.62. So that's going to be in our next position here. And we're going to slide that in. Alright, that one's all locked in. Now we're going to come to the next one. And the next one should be around 12-ish, 11 or 12, so that one's 11. So that one's going to be our next one. Now it's very critical that you get these in order because otherwise it's not going to charge, it's not going to read off this balance leak correctly. So you want to make sure that you get these in the proper order. Now this one we don't have to test because we only have one left. And we should be done. So let's see what we got on our LiPo tester here. This should read all correctly. We have a total voltage of 15.27. First cell, 3.1, 3.81. Second cell, 3.81. Third cell, 3.82. And last cell, 3.80. And again, if you have any questions before you check this, if you want to make sure, you can verify it up, up against the other one. And that one's fine. So, now we were able to get this pack back in the air, ready to be charged, and uh, instead of having to solder some of those replacement balance uh, leads that they sell, now you have a clean, factory-looking lead. All the descriptions for the connectors, the pins, and the uh, crimper that you're going to need. This will all be in the description of the YouTube video and uh, you'll be able to buy those parts. So for the for these, I buy these from DigiKey and then this, I'm going to have two suppliers. One of them is from ReadyMade RC, so if you need to get it right away you can order from them. Or the other one, if you don't mind waiting, you can buy it from uh, an overseas supplier. And again, I'll have the link in the description for all that. Hope you guys have a good time and uh, hope it helps you fix your uh, damage packs.